What's up guys, Brownie Bits here, and we are back in Brownie Land, and actually we visited the inn today, and we're going to do some, hopefully some really fun projects, or at least one fun project, and I've got some, uh, some plans that I wanted to work on today, and uh, a lot of it has to do with out here, and you can already see, well you can almost already see, we've got some progress done down here. So I'm going to go ahead and get to work on this and then I will be right back. All right guys and welcome back. And um, right now I am actually digging out a little bit of an area that is going to work very well for us here very soon. <laughs> so, whoops, I did not mean to break that. Anyways, so I've got this too deep area. Now, um, right below me is actually the bottom block of the world. It's actually block... Oh my gosh, stop breaking the torches. <laughs> Anyways, that bottom block is the bottom block of the world. Which means that if we were to dig it out, we would basically be able to fall into the void. And I don't want to do that. What I am doing though is actually employing a tactic so that I can actually have as high of ceilings as I want to without having to worry about Enderman spawning. Because obviously we are working on our Ender Ender today. And I don't want the Enderman to be able to spawn or teleport into my tunnel. That way I can, you know, basically have the uh, um, the minecarts run um, without any troubles from passing Endermen. <laughs> and I, I will be able to run as well without any troubles from the passing Endermen. But yeah, so we're going to be doing this. We're applying a tactic that is actually really convenient if you don't know it. It's actually two carpets stacked on top of each other. And if you do imply that, then you can basically put any Enderman, or you can basically not have to worry about Indian, any Enderman being able to spawn there because it actually, um, it can walk on there, yes, but to the Enderman itself and to any mob, really, it looks as if it is a an air block, so it doesn't actually count it as a spawnable block. So, that's going to work in our favor because I want some nice tall ceilings in this Ender Ender. I want to be able to employ some kind of design uh, elements that you wouldn't be able to do in a too high build. So that's why we're working on that today, or that's what we're working on today, and that's why we are actually going to be doing that. I've got some plans for some colors and, you know, a color scheme and everything like that. As far as our actual design though I want it to be somewhat similar maybe design itself may be different but I want the block palette to be somewhat similar from our uh, our last brownie land try um, I thought that block palette worked very well it was in stone bricks um, nether bricks and yeah I mean the the two worked flawlessly together but I've got some ideas as far as carpet. I want to more. I want to integrate the carpets in a lot better than what I did last time because I just kind of threw down red carpets, and honestly, to me, I don't think it worked all that well. Now it didn't like it wasn't terrible, but it could have been much better. Um, so we're going to be doing that today. I'm going to be laying out some uh, some ideas as far as color combinations go, and um, I'll do that once I get back. Because all my stuff is back at the uh, base. And we're going to have to deal with some Endermen today, it seems. But that's fine. We'll be able to... We won't have to really, truly worry about them. So we should be totally fine in taking care of this without any real issues. And I don't think I left anything else. So I'm going to go ahead and make my way back to the base and we can go ahead and get started on planning out some color schemes. And this way you can actually see kind of how my, my mind works in this scheme. Also, over here I do want to put in the same tactic. But uh, this is going to be a that storage system for the, um, the sand 
uh, and gravel duping. Now it won't be this entire room. I'm not planning on that. What I do want to eventually do is make this a storage system. Maybe, um, maybe bring in some, maybe bring the ender pearls in maybe. Um, but I definitely want to have like in stone storage out here in stone, purple, all that fun stuff. That way we have a storage area out here. Um, and maybe some other items as well. We'll see. But uh, I do want to eventually build out in the end. Maybe even out in the end over the void. And so having that storage system out here will definitely be good. And then I also started a little mine down here. So that we can mine out this uh, in stone without really worrying about um, uh, desecrating the, the actual landscape of this. Although I already kind of have. But that's besides the point. So I'm going to go ahead and get back to our, our spawn town, our woodland mansion, and we can get started quickly. All right, guys, and welcome back to the woodland mansion. And I've got the first block or the color palette laid out here. I had lots of this and this, but, you know, mixing in some of uh, this colors. Now, um, what I can do is actually throw in maybe even some of the lapis block. I think the lapis block looks pretty cool. Um, it could provide a little bit different of a color of the blue. Now, this is not ex like it's not it's nice. It works, but it's not like perfect for me. It, it I don't feel it, you know, because sometimes with the color scheme and that stuff, you kind of feel that, you know, like, oh man, this is going to work. This is going to work really well. And I don't really get that vibe. And I kind of want that vibe with our color palette. So let's go ahead and turn to my right and see the next one. Now this guy is actually, I think this works a lot better than the blues. Um, we do have that cyan, so it kind of has that green texture almost. And I think that's going to work very well with this dark uh, maroon color. Um, and then these two light colors actually complement each other fairly well. The white and this in stone, this kind of... Uh, sandstone -y color they I mean these work very well we can even throw in some sandstone if we can find some hopefully we can definitely find some very soon uh, we do have sand though we can make sandstone with but um, I would rather go out and find a desert too but <laughs> that's you know eventually we will uh, hopefully find one but this one works very well but the only issue is I I still don't get that vibe you know I, I I'm starting there it's starting to get there but I don't think this will work um, as, as completely. And now let's go and look at the third option, which I think is my personal favorite. And there we go. We've got the oranges. We've got this maroon, dark maroon color. We've got the yellows. We've got this. And oh my goodness, you know, we can even maybe add in a, a, some birch, maybe. <laughs> but oh man, this I think this looks fantastic. It kind of gives this fire vibe. Um, to it. I mean, if I throw down a torch, you can see that orange, the yellow, the the red um, in there, but it, it kind of gives a fire type feel to it. And we're going to be melting Enderman. So I think a fire, I or fire theme, fire color scheme is really going to do well. So I think this is actually going to be what I choose to go with. Now, the, the problem being is that I actually don't have a ton of these colors of wool so that that kind of stinks um, and that's one thing I wish we could dye carpet because there was a ton of white carpet um, here uh, but yeah you, you can't really dye the carpets you can dye the beds but you can't dye the carpets which is kind of upsetting um, in all reality I thought I had some actual Maybe it's in these guys over here. That's a red tulip. That's not going to do much for me. But the positive thing is we do have a bunch of this nether rack, which is going to be very, very nice uh, coming up here very soon. What about this? This is an empty shelker box along with this guy. So I'm going to actually throw as much of this nether rack in to these boxes as I can. Any more? Doesn't seem unless nope. That was granite. 
All right. So let's throw all of this in here and I will have to go mining for some stuff. But it seems like we actually don't have that much wool. So that's one thing we are going to have to pay attention to. I've only got 38 white wool. I can make 12 more. So I've got 50. But that's, I don't think that's going to really cut it. Because we would probably end up having to do, well we could do this number here. Yeah, that would that would work in, in terms of evenness. Because that would give us the same amount. But how much? Ooh, it gives us three. So 39. Which is a little bit more than I was expecting, honestly. But also, it doesn't help us all that much unfortunately <laughs> all the same we may end up needing some more dyes and some more wools oh there's a creeper guy hi how are you nope nope don't blow up don't you dare there we go okay so that's um that is definitely something we are going to have to pay a little bit more attention to than i originally thought now um i am going to go ahead and get some uh, some colors done. I've got my two tall bushes out here. So I've got the red and the yellow over here. So I'm going to be able to do a lot of the dye very, very quickly. Uh, there's another rose bush. But I'm going to go ahead and get to that. Uh, get some work done on that. And try to get up as much of the, uh, the carpets as I possibly can. That way we can actually get started on this. So I will be right back. All right, guys, and welcome back. I actually have finished up down there uh, as far as the uh, the chests go. I have made sure that uh, they are all in place uh, correctly. That way uh, we don't have to really worry about that. Um, and currently I'm working on our little drop shoot that we have for the Enderman. Um, I've taken some precautions to make sure. Um, ooh. It's, ooh, I can't. Okay, so we can do this. And then uh, that. And actually, can I? Yes, I can. Perfect. And then we will just uh, break that. And uh, do uh, that. And uh, that. We don't need that block. Oh well. Okay, so yeah, that's what I'm uh, kind of working on right now. Just trying to get this drop shoot taken care of. And then the next thing I'll be doing, I do actually, I just remembered, I do have to go and get some more redstone lamps. But I'll be working on the platform with all of the, uh, the lighting so that uh, we can turn on and off the farm as we see fit. Um, and basically, yeah, I know it's not entirely necessary to be able to turn on and off the farm, especially in a single player world, but I want to do it because of, oh, grumble, grumble, <laughs> I want to be able to do it because it will actually help uh, reduce lag for some people. So I want to give that opportunity um to you guys as, during for the world download that way as you're doing it if it becomes too much or something along those lines um obviously you can have it turned off and all the the only you know the the way that it works is basically lighting up the platform so endermen don't actually spawn so it's not like a huge deal to actually uh get that taken care of so that's not it's not hurting me in any way to take care of that at all. Plus, I like the ability to uh, not have to listen to Enderman uh, when that platform is filled up as I'm, like, enchanting or something. Um, and the way that this farm works, it basically um, will set up or will reach the mob cap limit very, very quickly um, after it's been turned on. So that's that is definitely not... A huge issue for me to take care of. Um, so 
that's why we're doing it that way. But yeah, this is the Doc M design. Um, I don't know if he has uh, any other um, people that worked with him on this, but this is basically that design. I like it because... You know, there's there's some cool designs that you can actually get done. I don't mind El Mangos. Um, I just, I think it looks kind of goofy. <laughs> That's my only complaint with it is kind of looks a little goofy. Um, but it definitely works. So if you guys like El Mangos, it's actually, it uses much less resources than this. I just kind of like the, the look of this guy, personally. But yeah, so like I said, it doesn't make that much of a difference, whichever one you choose. Um, I just kind of like this one personally. <laughs> that's that's really the only reason I'm using it. But yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this and I'll come back once I get some more uh, work done and once I get up to that level with the lights on it and I can show you kind of how I'm doing that. So I will be right back. All right guys. So I am back and I'm actually heading back out to the Ender Ender using our wonderful rail cart system that I put in to uh, to this guy and I'm I just I love I love this design it has a real big factory feel like I mentioned in the last clip but uh, I think that works very well overall and and I want to make sure this is working listen click hello it might not be working. Oh well. <laughs> Hopefully it is. But anyways, let's go ahead and start climbing up. As you can see, we've got this entire uh, thing done. I've got some name tags, which is mini, <laughs> named after one of my patrons. Um, but yeah, so uh, we're we're coming up here, and as you can see, with uh, with this system, whenever this torch over here is on. The farm is on working. Whenever it's off, it's obviously turned off and not working. And then we come back up through here. Now, I don't know if this is going to really make a difference. It shouldn't make a difference. But if it does, I will actually come back and fix it. And then coming up into uh, this, this is where we are actually going to be working. As you can see, we've got this. And I'm going to go ahead and get started. Oh, I should have brought my chest plate. Oh, well. I guess uh, guess we don't really have a choice there. And then I will enter Pearl out as we do it. So here we go. There we go. Okay, perfect. Just kind of quickly go up um ah okay and then i should have actually done this okay perfect that worked Surprisingly well. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, I need I need one of these. Thank you. There we go. So now Enderman can't actually get to it. And hopefully that is our last part of our Ender Ender. And I guess we should test it out to make sure. Is, oh, he is in there. Okay. So he is up there. Now, one thing I am going to do is actually this. Just to be on the safe side. Because they will kill poor Minnie if we aren't careful. Oh, man, I'm all out. Okay. That's fine. We will actually just take from these corners because I don't think, yeah, I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. All right. Sounds good. Looks very good. Let's go ahead and get down there and turn on this system and make sure that it is working. This is awesome, guys. We are about to get ridiculously 
awesome uh, levels coming in very, very soon. Okay, let's let's turn on the system. And this light here means that it is on and working, hopefully. Oh, there's the redstone turning on. And they should start falling down. There we go. And what I'm actually going to do... And that should be our limit. There we go. Now some of the pearls will get stuck back there, which I think is okay. Does this have mending on it? Oh yes, it does. Sweet. So I can actually repair my work pick. Look at this. This is this is awesome, guys. We now have an official ender ender that is going to really, really help out. I might come back and actually fix that stuff. Um, so that the ender pearls don't get stuck back there. But I think this is working very, very well. Now this is not my good act or sword. This is just another one I made up as a backup so that I was not doing my mending sword over the void in case I fell in. I did use all of these though, but I did bring this firework or these firework rockets. So I think that is an okay. There we go. But yeah, so we've got the Ender Ender, and I actually have one guy that I do need to talk about, and that is our comment of the day. Let me go ahead and get back. Let's go ahead and ride this. My, oops. I had to fix some of that stuff. And that's another thing I need to remember to do. I need to fix that one little area, which is okay. That's not that big of a deal. We'll, I'll, I'll take care of it a little bit later, but let's go ahead and get back into our comment of the day. Once I get back, it's in my ender chest actually. And we are about to have more ender pearls than we know what to do with. We actually probably currently have more than we know what to do with, but let's get right on in here to episode nine. And I realized in the last episode, I actually labeled the book episode seven. So my Apologies for that, but let's get in to that. Obsidian, which is my mini uh, patron. Uh, I want to buy a house right now, which I actually talked about in a live stream. Um, but there is some lore concerning that. So I will actually talk about a video of that. And Wild Goat, if you haven't checked out Wild Goat's channel, I will leave a link down in the uh, description below. Make sure you go check her channel out. Some very awesome content from Wild Goat. But lots of building done there. Awesome. I missed the creeper incident. Hee <laughs> hee. Whoops. Um, and that is actually my fault. I actually, uh, after watching the video back, after I've up already uploaded it, I realized that I took the clip after the creeper explosion from that part. So that is my fault, guys. Um... And maybe I'll, I'll throw it in to some other part. But thank you guys so much. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. If you really enjoyed it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And, you know, follow me. Uh, hit that notification bell as well. Um, because I will, I, I am trying to get up to posting one video a day. So hopefully we can do that this week. But guys, I am out of time. So I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.